Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of Love and Marriage DC Season 3 Episode 2. Let's get right into it. I didn't like how you compared me as like an analogy like you want to say, I don't want my son to be nothing like Lord Jamie. He's 26, still at home. So we pick up at this lunch with Irena and Ashley where Ashley is saying that she was pissed at Irena um, over what happened at the Christmas party. Ashley says, I told you to stop several times. Irena says, well, we were all just so angry and we went from zero to 100. Obviously, we were not going to be able to fully understand what we were saying to each other. But they were able to come to the middle. They both agreed that they could have done better. Ashley says that she loves Arena and the friendship that the couples have formed. So they're okay and they're going to be okay. But one more thing is Arena asked Ashley, if Joy texted you right now, would you be open to anything? And Ashley pretty much says no. She's mad that Clifton told Quick that Ashley might be jealous or insecure of Joy. So it looks like the door is closed. But low-key, Arena does think that Ashley might be a little jealous due to her being friends with Joy. So the next scene is Winter and Joy. They are doing a great workout. Then they talk. Winter doesn't know what happened because she wasn't invited to the Christmas party. So Joy is telling her about what happened and how Ashley kicked her out. First thing Winter says is, well, welcome into the kicked out club because, you know, Winter has been kicked out before too. So Joy keeps explaining what happened with Ashley, how Ashley told Joy's business to Alicia about her being married, which that did surprise Winter for a second. She didn't know. All she says is like, oh, congratulations. But Winter is definitely um, understanding her because she knows of Ashley's ways. So she can definitely relate to that. In the next scene, Ashley's assistant comes and asks her if she has seen the social media drama. So little Jamie saw the episode where Quick basically called him a little bad kid. So little Jamie is going off on quick on social media and Ashley then calls Arena and tells her that you know they are like family so she wants them all to talk and have a conversation about what happened so the next scene is Clifton and he's meeting this chick named Carmen who he dated on ready to love and he says that she has helped a lot in this business of the beard oil that he has. And Carmen is telling him that what Joy has been doing as far as deadlines, copyright, all that stuff, uh, isn't good. She's going to have to take care of it. Let me be a little negative for a second because I didn't like this. I saw a lot of red flags. First of all, they dated. So why are they even hanging out? Second, they showed pictures of them where they're like very close with each other and one of them she was wearing a bikini. And then third, the girl came in rubbing on his beard. What the hell? Like, no, that is not a good thing. And not to mention that they were speaking badly about his wife. You know, that's messed up. Um, So at Carmen, I mean, Joy, I get you're mad at Ashley, but you need, you might want to watch out for this. The next scene is Winter. She was recording a song. Then one of her friends comes over and she talks about her relationship with this new man. She says that she loves him. Of course, there are communication issues that could improve, but she is happy with him. But she's really traumatized from her last situation. And although she is happy, she isn't ready to say that he's the one. So I think that her not being able to think that he might be the one should tell her a lot. It is then time for the Silvas and Tylers to have a meeting. So they sit. Little Jamie says, what are y'all doing here? Well, they came to address the elephant in the room. So Quick says that a grown man would not post on social media his problems. A real man would have called him to tell him what was going on. So he's like, was it for clout? What was this for? It was corny. Uh, it was whack. So little Jamie says, why would y'all even use me as an example? Quick says, well, your father himself has called you a bum. He's called you much worse than that. And then so Jamie, the dad, jumps in and says, well, you know, I can call my son anything I want, but not you. I would never call your children anything. So then Quick loses his mind. He says, I am the man who has been had it, having your back. You took it the wrong effing way. Uh, you look real. It was 
honestly quick looked ridiculous giving like he was giving short man energy and then little jamie says why are you cussing at me i'm not gonna let you cuss at me and talk to me like that so ashley says that the reason that they brought up his name as an example is because arena has you know giving them advice on how to raise their children and not to repeat the mistakes that they did with little jamie you know how, like if they start to see certain things just snip it in the bud then quick is saying that i want the best for you and he can admit that he was wrong they just didn't like that he put it on social media so little jamie says that he doesn't like that he was used as an analogy to say that he was a bad person or what some kid ought not to be and i get it you know little jamie's feelings were genuinely hurt he says i'm human so quick apologizes and then little jamie apologizes as well for putting the stuff on the internet so they hug it out and they're okay the next day, we see Clifton and Joey in their house. He tells her that Quick invited the guys, only the guys, to some wrestling match. Then he tells her, like, super nonchalant, you know, I met with Carmen. And she said that things were not okay, that you did with the product, and that you were handling stuff. You know, Joy, she designed the logo, the colors, the name, everything. Joy was calm, though. But I do feel bad that Clifton came in as if everything that Carmen said was correct and everything that Joy did was incorrect. So that was not cool. We then see the syllabus again. Ashley's doing some workout and Quick was getting turned on by it. Anyway, he tells her about this wrestling thing that he's going to have with all the guys. And she says, well, why did you invite Clifton? And Quick says, no, I didn't just invite Clifton. You know, I invited all the men. He happened to be in the group chat. So Clifton will be going. And Ashley's not happy about it. She throws some shade about him hanging out with losers. I don't know. I feel like they're overreacting with this. So then... Um, we see the next scene and they, it's all the men. They go to this place called C3W. The guys didn't know they were actually going to do some wrestling. And Sherelle's husband, Black, was cracking me up. It was hilarious, you know, seeing them do this stuff. And then after that, Quick says that he uh, has been seeing that wrestling is a very profitable industry and he wants to look more into it. So Clifton says, let me ask y'all something. What do y'all think about having a business with your wife? So then some of them say that it's not a good idea at all. Quick says that it almost ruined his marriage with Ashley. Clifton then starts to talk about his beard oil and that Joy didn't handle the copyright or whatever it was, as well as Carmen. Then someone's like, who is Carmen? So then he starts to explain who she is and how they had a connection back in the show and everyone's confused. So we're kind of seeing the start of this whole question if Clifton and Joy are a trouble with Carmen. It's crazy, but that was the end of the episode, you guys. A good episode, um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What did you guys make of the Silvas and the little Jamie situation? And what do you think about Clifton having this best friend, Carmen? So let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. You'll have a great one. Bye.